if you want to manifest, you have to cheat on that person. And before you come at me, I'm not talking about your girlfriend or your business partner. And in this video, we are going to redefine some words. And one of them is cheating. Because in this situation, cheating will not be a bad thing. In fact, it's going to be the best thing that you will ever do in your entire life. And you will know why. And even though I told you this is not your girlfriend or your business partner, but that person is much more important than these two. So first, before getting into the cheating part, let's talk about something that is really important and that is the definition of manifestation. We are always manifesting, whether we are manifesting consciously or unconsciously. And if you clicked on this video, then you are mostly manifesting unconsciously. You are manifesting your old programming. And I cannot blame you. Most of the people on this earth are doing the same. Unconsciously manifesting the same situations over and over and over again. And then wonder why all of this is happening to them. And I cannot blame you. We've been programmed for years to think in a certain way. To believe in certain things. Your parents, the government, the schools, the media been programming you since you were a child and now you want to manifest your desired reality. But there is a deep rooted belief in your subconscious mind that is keeping you stuck. And in this video I'm going to tell you that manifestation is easy once you understand something. Your old frequency is the only thing that needs to be changed. Your old frequency. We are operating on frequencies. Nikola Tesla said something really interesting. If you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, vibration, and frequency. So, what does that mean? It means that there is much more to the world than just the visible reality that we are seeing. We are operating on vibrations, on frequencies. The vibration of love is different from the vibration of anger, completely different. You are operating on frequencies. So your inner state of being dictates which frequency you are operating on, which quality of frequency you are operating on. And as a byproduct, you will attract things that are on the same quality of that vibration. This is why I'm telling you, we've been always manifesting. This is not something that we don't know how to do. We are just now doing it consciously. And believe it or not, it is hard for some people to grasp this idea. Why? Because we've been told over and over that there is an outside power that is controlling us. There is an outside force that is controlling us. But let me tell you something. This force is within you and all around you. And it responds to your frequency. Once you change your frequency, you can change your world. And I mean literally. I'm not talking figuratively here. I'm talking literally. You can change your world by just changing your frequency. Because your thoughts will make you do things that will be resonant with the quality of that frequency. So it all begins in the mind. This is why in the Hermetic teachings, they tell you that the universe is mental. The universe is mental. That means that everything comes from the mind. And believe me, you are a part of a big symphony. And this symphony is creation. And you are a note in that creation. And that means that the one is the all and the all are the one. Once you understand that, you understand that we are a part of the all. You are one with the one. That gives you much power. But right now, let's talk about the idea of we have to cheat on a specific person. Not your SP, by the way. I'm talking about a very important person that you've got to cheat on in order to manifest. I think you guessed who that is. If you don't, then stay tuned. You will get the whole picture right now. So you've been programmed to operate on a certain frequency. Your parents told you that money doesn't grow on tree. Relationship and your relationships 
like your partner always told you that you are not lovable you are insecure you are this you are that so you always thought that you are what they say about you when the truth of the matter is this you don't have to buy into what they told you you don't have to you have to reprogram your subconscious mind but these old patterns keep reappearing in your life how many times you enter into the relationship as a brand new person and three months in you face the same difficulties as the relationship before this is not a coincidence this is just your subconscious mind manifesting in front of your own eyes what is embedded within it and now you know who is that person that you should cheat on it's your old self you should cheat on your own self but the old version of you not the new version that you will actually create and make with your own imagination so you are leaving the past you are leaving the old frequency and you are entering into a new era a new person you are becoming a new man a new woman you are leaving that person that you used to be and you are becoming a new man or a new woman because this is so important you need to sheet on that old version of you with the new version of you you need to construct an idea a version of you that is so capable and so powerful to the point that you wouldn't feel lack you wouldn't feel the feeling of scarcity you wouldn't feel all these feelings that kept you stuck for years and years I know it's not an easy task and I don't say that you have to do it overnight you don't have to and you cannot actually you can but if I'm being real here it's a process it's a process of catching yourself when you feel like you are thinking like the old you you catch yourself and you go sheet on that old you that old version of you with the new version that you created in your imagination so you embody that state you act as that person that you would be like if you already have all the things that you want you act as if it's already an accomplished fact if that person that old you is in a mood of scarcity and he's feeling anxious and he is so insecure you design in your mind a new character that is fearless that is secure and then you embody these traits you embody the feeling of being secure being loved being abundant being all these things and once you do that you will know that you are now getting into the frequency of the reality that you want because we operate on frequencies as I told you so you have to sheet on that old version of you with the new version of you because this is the only way you will manifest consciously the desired reality that you want that you always wanted there is no way that you can stay with the same frequency and expect the outer world to change because I told you before this world is just a mirror so don't be mad at the things that you are facing because it is just reflecting back to you what you feel about yourself internally whether that be consciously or unconsciously you are feeling a certain feeling about yourself this is why you are seeing certain situations reappearing in your life so treat the world as a mirror when you smile it will smile back or if you go to the movie theater and you are sitting down and you are watching a movie but you don't like the movie you know that you cannot fight with the screen if you want to change what's in front of you you gotta go to the projector and change that and this is the key you are the projector and this reality that you are living in is just reflecting back to you what you can send to be true about yourself about your world so it's useless to actually try to change on the outside change internally and then the outside world will change above so below as within so without this is why it's so important to cheat on that person and that person is the old version of you cheat on yourself and go to the new version of you and once you do that game over you are entering a new reality you are becoming a new person you are becoming more happier you are letting go of the old beliefs 
and you are holding on to new beliefs that are serving you, these beliefs will serve you better. These old beliefs served you at a moment of time, but now it is not doing any good to you. In fact, it is holding you back. These beliefs are holding you back, so you need to cut these beliefs off. Sheet on them with the new beliefs. And once you do it, you will reprogram your subconscious mind that, hey, I am that new person. I'm with that new person. So you are becoming one with that new character. You are becoming a new person, quite literally. So I don't want you to be stuck in the old programming. And I want you to get past that point of just keep repeating over and over and over the old things to keep manifesting in your life. I don't want you to keep repeating the same experiences in your life because they will appear in your life as long as you are holding on to it. You gotta sheet on them. Once you sheet on the old version of you, the new version will be in front of your own eyes. Think of it that way. If you know how powerful you are when you sheet on the old person, the old version of you, you will become so powerful when you are going to the new direction. You will have so much momentum because finally you broke free from it. You broke free from all these beliefs. You are on the right path. You did it. Because now you have to break up with the old self and you will become in a new relationship with the new self. Think of it that way. It is easier to think of it that way. This is why Neville told us that you have to let go of the old concept of self and to die, let the old self die and you will be resurrected as a new person. This is actually so powerful. I love this guy Neville. Neville was so mystical and at the same time he gave us all this info in the most simple way way possible. Now you know what to do. Here are the steps. The very first thing you need to do is identify yourself with that new version of you. Close your eyes and imagine yourself being that person and see the traits and the feelings that that person would feel. That person got everything you ever wanted. So now, how would you feel? How would that person feel, that new version of you? He would be fearless, he would be attractive, he would be handsome, he would be so good at many things, he got a good physique, he is so articulate. So feel these feelings, like when you catch yourself being fearful, catch yourself and hey, I am secure. When you catch yourself being in a scarcity mode, hold yourself and, and say to yourself, hey, I'm identifying with that new version of me. That new version of me would feel secure, would feel safe, would feel abundant. Hold on to these feelings and never let them go. And if you do, catch yourself again until you make it a subconscious behavior to become in the feeling of the wish fulfilled. And the wish fulfilled in this case is becoming that new person. You are becoming and entering into a relationship with that new person because you sheeted on the old version of you. And now, you broke up with that version of you and you are becoming in a new relationship. You are entering a new relationship with that new version of you. So you left the old version, you cheated on that version. So that version decided that, hey, I'm not continuing with you. I'm breaking up with you. So you said, perfect, this is what I wanted. And now you are entering a new relationship, but with the new version of you, the version that you always wanted. I hope this analogy made sense to you. Now you know who is that person that you need to sheet on in order to manifest. I bet you in the beginning of this video you thought I was gonna say something crazy. But now it all made sense. It all made sense to you. You now know what to do. If you want to reprogram your subconscious mind with more techniques and you feel like this is not doing it for you, this is why I actually made my ebook. Then you can find all the techniques that you will ever need in the 26 page ebook that I made in the link in the description box. I gathered it because I kept running in circles for years and I gathered all this info because I needed something to go back to and it wasn't intended to be published. 
until you guys decided to ask me about all these techniques. So I said, you know what, I'm going to publish that too. So now it's available, get your copy, and if for some reason you need to message me for a one-on-one -on -one call, then just email me and we will see if we can sort it out. And don't forget to sheet on that person. And until next video, I'll see you soon.